Hello and welcome. Today we are going to do a battery replacement for a Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite 5G. We are going to start by heating up the glass back cover using a hair dryer. About 4 minutes should be enough. Let's start. You can also use a heat gun or heating plate for this. I want to use a hair dryer because most of you guys have a hair dryer at home and the temperature is safe. So we are going to use a suction cup and an opening tool that looks like the double sided tape from this phone. This phone is not a new model but the double sided tape just gave up from those minutes we we used so it's coming off easier than expected but I am going to gently help in the top area because it's not it's not fully detached here so I am using a very thin plastic tool to separate to detach the glass back cover from the phone's frame so if your phone doesn't want to open as easy as this one uh, you want to go around the edge but do not go in too deep using your opening tool because you could damage your antenna cable you could damage other parts and looks like it just gave up let's see so the back cover is made of glass and it's not a good idea to bend it too much so this is glass it, it bends for a bit but don't risk it okay let's set this aside and continue with the disassembling process so for replacing the battery we need to unscrew all of the top part screws After getting all of the screws out, let's lift this plastic shield. This is also the NFC antenna. <clears throat> let's disconnect the battery. Get a plastic tool and let's disconnect this flex cable okay this <clears throat> battery has pull tabs so lift up both parts of the pull tab and pull A this is A, so the sides, we need to pull up from the sides. Okay, that was quite easy. 
and now we need to get rid of this but let's see so we have the original Xiaomi battery here okay nice it's provided with the double sided tape okay so let's get rid of this We could also just <laughs> leave it inside the phone, but we want to do it the right way. So let's see. So you have to be careful because we have those two ribbon cables that we don't want to damage. And also the fingerprint flex cable. So be extra careful near those parts. Let's see. Let's try to grab the double sided tape and pull. Okay. So be very careful so you don't damage these flex cables so this and let's try to grab them okay two down one to go so it's yes. Maybe it's a good idea to secure this flex cable when doing that. Okay, that went pretty well. So, let's get the new original battery, remove the plastic uh, protection cover from the double-sided tape, and try to align the battery with the frame and push down on it so everything gets nice and uh, glued in together we need to remove this paper uh, here connect the seam tray flex cable and try to align the battery connector and press okay so looks like everything is okay uh, let's get this antenna cable back in its place because we don't want this flying around here so just a little pressure to get it to enter that that uh, that groove that space so get the plastic shield align it and get it inside the top area and push down and secure it in place using the screws so these are Philips screws and we are using a 1.5 per 25 millimeter <coughs> Philips screwdriver
So if you are doing this repair, it's always the best idea to order double-sided tape for your back cover. But sometimes this is not available and you have to use what you've got and you need to improvise. Most people just use glue like this but sometimes it's a messy work <clears throat> it's a better idea to use double-sided tape okay now that we have all of the screws back in place let's check this out so we have the double-sided tape pretty clean in here and I guess the old battery was a little bit swollen because the back cover got out very easy but this is still sticky so let's analyze the situation Okay, so the phone is clean inside, it's not dirty or it doesn't have dust, but we don't have the new original double-sided tape and this double-sided tape, okay, I am, I am going to apply a very thin layer of double-sided tape on top of the old double-sided tape so this way it will be sticky and grab on tightly to the phone's frame but I don't want to remove the old double-sided tape because this is a very thin double-sided tape and it's not going to be the same so using it on top of the old is what I am doing now but please order the new original double-sided tape if you can Okay. So to get this to be more sticky, I am going to use the hair dryer for about a minute. And now we are going to place it on the phone's frame as centered as possible. You have the frame's edge to guide. So press down on the edge so the double sided tape will stick to the phone's frame. It's always a good idea to put the phone in a press. You can also improvise something with even distribution of pressure. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day.